out of Havana, a big snub from the new Brazilian president to Cuba as the island deals with a grim economic forecast. Plus, we hear from the sole survivor of that deadly plane crash. Here's Local 10's Hatzel Vela. Brazilian president-elect Jair Bolsonaro just rescinded two invitations for his swearing-in ceremony. No longer attending, Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro and Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel. In a tweet, Bolsonaro said, Regimes that violate the freedoms of their people will not be in the presidential possession ceremony in 2019. Brazilian press reported Bolsonaro called Díaz-Canel and Maduro dictators. Back here on the island, Diaz Canal continues to deal with reports of a weak economy. In a briefing, members of the National Assembly were told between the years 2019 and 2021, expect the Cuban economy to grow only 1 to 2 percent. <laughs> Diaz Canal said bettering the economy should be the government's top priority, a fundamental battle, he added. In other news, the sole survivor from that plane crash that happened back in May here in Havana is speaking out for the first time. On a Facebook post, Mylen Diaz Almaguer thanks God for giving her a second chance to live and for getting better daily. She goes on to thank people, especially doctors and nurses and therapists who have helped her recuperate. A big hug to everyone, she wrote, and God bless everyone. Diaz Almaguer remains at the hospital undergoing therapy. On May 18th, 112 people died in the crash, which happened shortly after the 737 took off from Jose Marti International Airport. An official cause of the crash is still unknown. I'm Hatsovala, Local 10 News, Havana.